Hey everybody, in this video I am going to show you a simple yet highly effective circuit that you can do to feel steadier, more solid, and more stable when holding at full draw. One thing that we do at Archery Strong is use archery specific strength training to build the stability that an archer needs to have less movement when they're at full draw, so they can ultimately feel more stable and more solid when they're aiming and executing each shot. For this circuit, you're going to need one pair of dumbbells. Most archers are going to be between five and 10 pounds or two and four kilograms as a general range, but you can go lighter or you can go heavier. Here I have an eight pound pair of dumbbells. Now for this circuit, you're going to be holding in three different positions. And these are three positions that apply three different types of forces to the shoulder. And these are three of the most important forces that you need to be strong in, that you need to be able to stabilize against, to hold steady, solid, and ultimately more stable in your shot. There's going to be a frontal hold, there's going to be a lateral hold, and then there's going to be a posterior hold. All of these holds are going to occur in this half kneeling position. And the reason for this half kneeling position is it provides a little bit more of a stable base than standing. You can certainly do this standing if you'd like, but I like the simplicity of this stance, the stability it provides, and then ultimately it makes it easier to pass through the positions and the holds that you're going to see here in a second. Either knee down is fine. You might want a pillow underneath your knee, but very important in this position is that you maintain neutral hips, meaning it, you want to be very careful to avoid an excessive arch. You don't need to be fully excessively tucked under, but neutral with core engagement and bracing throughout is important for a solid foundation, regardless of what type of archer you are. So I'm holding in this solid position here. Now, what you're going to do for this circuit is you're going to set a timer for one minute and you're going to hold for three seconds in each position. So I'm counting down here with my timer at three, two, one. I'm going to hold for three seconds in this frontal position. Arms are relatively straight with a slight bend is normally most comfortable. Then I'm going to hold for three seconds in this lateral position keeping the core tight. And then I'm going to fold at the hip, lay my chest on my knee and keep my back flat as arms are out to the side holding in this posterior hold for three seconds. Then I return to the frontal hold for three seconds, keeping everything solid and stable, holding as steady as I can, three seconds in lateral, shoulders pressing down away from my ears into my back pockets, and then folding into this posterior hold, shoulder blades squeezing and pinching together, for three seconds. And you're ultimately going to pass through and hold in each of these positions for three se seconds until the one minute interval is up. And I have seven seconds. So I'm just going to get back to this frontal hold for three more seconds, two more, one more and my timer is done there. Once that one minute of holding has concluded, you're going to rest for a minute or two. You can adjust the rest time based on what you need. The goal is to hold perfect, steady, solid, stable position as you go through each of those three positions. Now to keep it simple and to keep your cueing in your mind simple, we want for all of those holds for the shoulders to be down, pressed into my back pockets, I like to think, and then shoulder blades, squeezed back and set back like I'm trying to pinch a pencil between both shoulder blades as I'm holding in the frontal position, the lateral position, and then the posterior position here. As you'll see in the instructions below, this type of circuit is most effective if you repeat it about three times in one session. So you have one minute of holding, a minute or two of rest, and then you have approximately three rounds of that. Now what's really important to understand is this is just one very specific example of the type of work that we use for all different types of archers to create that stability and the steadiness that we want to see through better muscular control, positioning, and holding while you resist forces. There are many muscles over a dozen muscles 
that perform over a dozen different functions that all contribute to stability. So a lot of times archers will want to know what's one exercise I can do or uh, what's one type of, of training I can do and unfortunately to best address this need of stability for an archer we have to treat it more complex than that because there are so many different parts that hold our bones in alignment, that hold our structure solid, that allow us to hold steady, that there isn't just one circuit or one exercise that uh, is going to produce the well-rounded stability and steady benefits that you're looking for as an archer. So take this example, use this. If you find that it's helpful for you, if you find that it's valuable for you, my encouragement is to seek out some of the other resources that we offer. We offer everything from low level training plans to higher level training plans. There's more videos on YouTube here. There's a lot of training videos on Instagram. Utilize all of those different resources that we provide to help archers get more stable and stronger. I hope that you found this video valuable and I hope that you put it into practice. If you're looking for more resources, tools, and information to become a more physically capable archer, you can look at archerystrong.com. There's a way to contact me there if I can help you in any way, I'd be happy to do so. Thank you for your support.